So welcome to the fifth video in the Ratchet and Phone Gap series. In this video we're going to be looking at uh, table views like in the previous tutorial except for now they can take images. Now I know I'm working through this series quite slowly uh, but I thought the best way to do it is to break it up into lots of little videos and what I'm going to try my best to do now is try and do them more regularly since they're going to be quite short now uh, rather than sort of the 10 minute videos. So I'm going to divide it up into the different sections of Ratchet which also makes it easier for you to come back to if you want to ever know how to do a certain thing. You don't have to sit through watching through all the videos to find something. So I think that's probably going to be the, the uh, better way of doing it. So in this video we're going to be looking at uh, table views that can take images. So this is especially useful, um, let's say you wanted to make a Twitter style app, you might want to have uh, the person's profile picture or something next to like their post. Um, you can play around with it. but uh, that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So these can of course be wrapped in cards, which is how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to put it just underneath my uh, previous table view, which contained the item 1, 2, 3 and 4. Uh, I'm going to keep on trying to reuse the old code in each of the videos so you can see as it all sort of evolves uh, into all these features. So underneath this card div, uh, the ending one is right here, we're going to add another div with a class of card. And we'll obviously close that off. And inside of here, what we're going to add is a UL of, uh, we're going to add a class of it to the UL. And this is going to be table dash view. Uh, just like before, uh, nothing changes here. Inside of here, we're also going to create a list item. And this is similar ish to before, but a bit of a difference. Uh, this is going to have a class of table dash view dash cell and it also have a class of media and this is so it can take the extra gap for that uh, picture which will go on the left so split up this list item and inside of here what we can have is a div with a class of media dash body and this is where your text is going to go like before so just close that off and as I said in here we can have our text and I'm just going to paste in some lorem ips on there, so just two lines of it will be good. And let's go and refresh it. So this looks just like a normal uh, a normal row here, uh, just like the other ones. Uh, so now we're going to add the picture on the left of it. So to do this, just above this div with a class of media body, we're going to add an image with a class of media dash object, and then pull dash left. And obviously you want to add a SRC, the source of the image. So here what I'm going to do is a site I quite like is a site called Lorem Pixel. And this will generate uh, actual pictures, not just placeholder pictures, but actual proper looking pictures uh, to put as placeholders. So it just randomly generates them every time. So it's just Lorem, you just put HTTP colon slash slash Lorem Pixel dot com forward slash and then the, uh, the width and then the height. So these boxes that it takes here are 42 by 42. You could put a larger image in it, but 42 by 42 is the minimum for it to sort of look good. So do 42 slash 42. And then we can also specify a type. So I'll choose people as this is kind of like a blog, Twitter, Facebooky, social networky kind of looking thing. Uh, I'm not really sure what I, how I should describe it. And refresh, and there is the little uh, sort of profile icon and if you keep on refreshing it will keep on changing it every time so what I'm just going to do now is uh, duplicate this list item uh, three times maybe and then go and refresh and you can see it's generating these icons each time so yeah so Lauren Pixel is quite a nice site uh, for generating images you can also do larger images of whatever size so I suggest using that or any other placeholder site, it doesn't really make a difference. So that is table views with images, uh, with media in them. So I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, of course, you can put this on your phone as well as ever before. So yes, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video.